The entire legal profession, the entire military, the entire literary world is dominated by people from privileged classes, from the upper classes. Now, the upper, you can't buy yourself into the upper class. It's not like America where money defines class. In this country, background defines class. And it's still, it, it, it's as deeply um, ingrained into the English character, you know, as is the caste system in India. Except it's not quite so explicit. It doesn't need to be because we all, are, we all, every one of us as a as a as a as a Brit, understands exactly where we belong, and we understand it just by the accent, our accent. That's enough. You don't need any more than that. If you're stopped, if I'm stopped by um, the police, you know, out on the street, my accent will immediately inform him or her of what essentially I'm going to be thinking or what my expectations are or how I'll defend myself. It's absolutely written into our whole sort of uh, social conditioning. And for example, I don't look like a sort of upper middle class gentleman, but I sound like one. So when I go into a shop because I look a bit trampish, then I'll probably create interest from the security. But I only need to open my mouth and they'll think, oh, well, that's all right, he's a sort of upper class eccentric rather than a working class tramp. That sort of thing. I mean, it's just in play all the time. That's how the whole structure of British society is built around the class system.